Who really invented the telephone? Alicia Gray was an inventor and businessman who lived during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He is best known for his contributions to the field of telecommunications, particularly in the development of the telephone. He was born in Barnesville, Ohio in 1835 and died in Chicago, Illinois in 1901. Gray's early life was marked by a passion for science and technology. As a child, he was fascinated by the workings of machines and spent much of his free time tinkering with them. He attended Oberlin College in Ohio, where he studied electrical engineering. After graduation, he worked as a teacher and later as a telegraph operator. In the 1870s, Gray began experimenting with ways to transmit speech over telegraph wires. At the time, the telegraph was the only way to communicate long distances, but it could only send messages in code. Gray believed that it was possible to transmit speech over telegraph wires and began working on a device that could do so. In 1875, Gray developed a device that he called the telephone transmitter. This device was capable of converting speech into electrical signals that could be transmitted over telegraph wires. Gray filed for a patent for his invention on February 14, 1876, the same day as Alexander Graham Bell filed for a patent for his own telephone invention. The patent office was unable to determine which inventor was the first to invent the telephone, and both Bell and Gray were granted patents. However, Bell's patent was considered to be the more complete and was given priority. Gray was forced to abandon his claim to the telephone and instead focused on developing other electrical devices. Gray's invention of the telephone transmitter was just the beginning of his contributions to the field of telecommunications. In 1878, he developed a device called the telephone repeater, which was used to amplify the signals sent over telephone lines. This invention allowed for longer distance telephone calls and paved the way for the development of the telephone network as we know it today. In 1879, Gray founded the Western Electric Manufacturing Company, which was one of the first companies to manufacture telephone equipment. The company quickly became a major player in the telecommunications industry and helped to spread the use of the telephone across the United States. Throughout his life, Gray continued to invent and improve upon various electrical devices. He developed a number of other innovations, including the telephone line converter, which allowed for the use of multiple telephone lines on a single wire, and the telephone switchboard, which was used to connect telephone calls. Gray's contributions to the field of telecommunications were not limited to the telephone. He also made significant contributions to the development of the telegraph and the wireless telegraph. He invented a number of devices that were used in telegraphy, including the telegraph sounder and the telegraph key. He also worked on the development of wireless telegraphy, which was a precursor to radio communication. In addition to his work in telecommunications, Gray was also involved in a number of other business ventures. He was a co-founder of the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, ATTAND, which was formed in 1885 to provide long-distance telephone service. He also served as president of the National Electric Light Association, which was an organization that promoted the use of electricity in the United States. Despite his many accomplishments, Gray's life was not without its struggles. He was constantly in competition with Alexander Graham Bell and other inventors, and he often struggled to get recognition for his contributions. He was also plagued by financial troubles throughout his life and was forced to sell many of his patents and inventions to stay afloat. Gray died in 1901 at the age of 66 in Chicago, Illinois. He was suffering from a prolonged illness and his death was attributed to heart failure. Despite the challenges he faced in his life, Gray's legacy lives on through his numerous inventions and contributions to the field of telecommunications. In the years following his death, Gray's work was recognized and honored by many organizations and institutions. In 1930, the Institute of Radio Engineers, IRE, 
posthumously awarded him the Iron Medal of Honor for his contributions to the field of telecommunications. In 1957, the American Institute of Electrical Engineers, AIEE, also awarded him the AIEE Edison Medal for his contributions to the field of electrical engineering. Gray's impact on the world of telecommunications can still be felt today. His inventions and innovations were the foundation for the development of the telephone network, which has become an essential part of modern life. His work also paved the way for other advancements in the field of telecommunications, such as the development of radio and television. Alicia Gray's life and legacy are a testament to the power of invention and innovation. Despite the challenges he faced, he never gave up on his passion for science and technology, and his contributions have had a lasting impact on the world. He will always be remembered as a pioneer in the field of telecommunications and an inventor whose work changed the course of history.